Olusoji Oyawoye, a certified outsourcing personnel, highly experienced people management expert, purpose-driven social entrepreneur and industry captain, is the managing director and chief executive officer of Resource Intermediaries Limited, a world-class ISO certified outsourcing solutions provider in Africa, and indeed, one of the most distinguished CEOs in Nigeria for 2024. What I've found out in my uh, experience through the years is uh, about two to three things are critical in succeeding in an environment like this or any business environment. First is you need to be clear as to the problem that your business is positioned to solve because the business primarily is a solution to a problem. So try to be that focus, narrow focus on what problem exactly are you out there to solve. The second thing that helps you in succeeding is as much as possible, try to be truthful to all stakeholders, the customers, the community, government, and your staff. And the third that I've found most critical in uh, such drive is, and that's what we practice here, your staff, you have to recognize that your staff are your greatest assets. It's not a cliche. Your people are your greatest assets. Once you can have a focus on those three things, from my experience in this business and our limited businesses, uh, you will not only thrive, you will actually succeed. Resource Intermediaries Limited is an wholly indigenous company. Uh, we started operations July 1, 2006. Our principal business is managing staff on an outsourced basis for different organizations. And we're clear from the onset what we'd like to achieve. Uh, I come from a banking background and uh, a few of the shareholders and directors, principal shareholder also come from a banking background. So we had seen a uh, while in the banking industry where I was for 19 years, until 2006 that um, a lot of businesses use support staff but basically use them as what you call contract staffing and we distinguished because contract staffing is really against the labor laws of nigeria and so we studied and decided to go into outsourcing which is a completely different hr management practice even the lot of people out there who say they're HR outsourcing are actually doing contract staffing. But the basic distinction is a contract staff has no rights, no benefits. Even the employment is, is term based. You employ the staff that are deployed to organizations on a six month basis or annual renewal basis. HR outsourcing, which is what we practice, every staff that we employ and deploy are core staff of our organizations. We are the ones that have a contract with the client. The staff is not a contract staff. And everyone we employ is here, though we always advise them an outsourced job is not a career job because the pays cannot change until the client reviews the salary. We expect them to work here for five years max, expand their CV and go to other jobs. But some have been with us for 16, 17 years. And uh, an outsourced staff under our model cannot be sacked, except there's some misdemeanor that goes through a disciplinary committee. If you're going to have any such staff exited, you will have to give notice or pay in lieu. In lieu. They too cannot just take off without giving notice or payment in lieu. And they have access to medical, they are pensionable, medical provided. A contract staff has none of those. So again, I'm aware that a lot of organizations who claim to be in HR outsourcing are doing contract staffing. So that's a distinction. And in our 17 and a half years, we have grown from managing about three staff to currently over 10,000 staff deployed all over Nigeria. And we're serving the leading organizations in practically all sectors, banking and financial institutions, hospitality, manufacturing, uh, we're not in oil and gas, that's the only space we're not in. Aviation, but every other sector you can think of, we currently are serving the leading organizations in this industry.
as most organizations have those vision, mission, value statement posted all over the place. For us, it's not just a mere statement. Uh, just for emphasis, our vision when we started something and a half years ago is to be the first in outsourcing management, uh, providing value adding services to our, all of our clients with highly efficient and professional team. Now, we believe we already attained that from about our 10th year. Because from about our 10th year, there is no organization that is seeking to go into HR outsourcing as a HR management service that do not invite us to submit a bid and participate when they're taking that decision. There's none that has so invited us that has not engaged us. Now, most of the time, these are multi-sourcing arrangements, so we're not the only provider there. But we also do surveys of our staff deployed and the clients we manage, and we have seen consistently that within six months to one year, we are rated the first amongst even where they have six, seven providers. So obviously our vision uh, has already been attained. And this comes from our mission, which is what helps us achieve this. Our mission basically is to ease business burdens, to ease business burdens. So whatever is a burden in managing staff for an organization, we ease that. And it's not uh, surprising. I believe we're already attaining our vision, which is why we have now gone into Ghana, providing exactly the same service. And in the last six months, November last year, we're now in Kenya. So we're in West Africa, we're now going into East Africa based on the successes we have achieved in Nigeria. Like I said, there are leading organizations in various uh, industries, but I'd rather talk more about the services we provide. Uh, outsourcing that we handle are human resource management. So we provide staff, non-cost staffing for organizations. So bank tellers, ATM operators, field marketers, uh, factory workers, drivers, janitorial staff, so any staff that is not core to an organization. So if I take your, ind your industry, for example, I, I believe to have this happen, uh, somebody must have dri driven you here. That individual is not core to your operations, but you interview me, you are core to delivering the service. The, the broadcaster is core to the operations. But the janitor that cleans the office and all of that is not core. So our major uh, service is providing such non-core staff. The only sector we do not handle is security and domestic staff. And for obvious reason, the risks are higher. Because part of the benefit we provide is any client we provide staff to. We take on the responsibility and liabilities that our staff cost while they are deployed to those organizations. Painfully not so good. And that is because as we speak, there is no regulation for outsourcing practice. Uh, outsourcing outside Nigeria is a regulated industry. It's like saying you can't practice as an accountant or a doctor without some certification and going through some uh, authorization. In Nigeria, it's not like that. Anybody just carries a briefcase and they say they're an outsource. I'm, for example, I'm certified by the United States International Association of Outsourcing Professionals because I needed to understand how it's done properly after we started this business so that we can distinguish ourselves. So the major challenge is a lot out there who bears the name outsource provider are just doing contract stuff. The staff that they deploy to clients basically have no benefits, no rights. And we also have tried now through the Association of Outsourcing Professionals for about 12 years now to try and put ourselves together. But even if there's no government regulation, can we regulate ourselves and gradually like the accountants did, because at one time, accountants also wasn't regulated. They got themselves together and eventually became so serious that they then got legislation. 
resource intermediaries Ghana Limited. We are international, but our sister company located in Nigeria, a corporate member of the International Association of Outsourcing Professionals. Our key services are outsourcing, recruitment, and training, people management is at the heart of all we do. Easing business burdens is why we do it. Hence, the conceptual reason of our existence. We are adequately capitalized and have access to funds for all our valued transactions. Our office in Osu also provides very good ambience for our clients and staff to interact, while our brand pillars of flexibility, resourcefulness, and knowledge clearly demonstrates our commitment to easing business burdens.